Today's topic is referral strategies for fit pros. And Andrew, this is very, very much uh, your wheelhouse, isn't it? Um, it certainly is. <laughs> so <laughs> let, let's just jump straight in. Why are referrals so crucial for crucial? There we go. There's the word for fitness professionals. Well, first of all, they're, they're the primary source of, of leads. You know, we get our clients through uh, um, through referrals. Maybe not initially when we're first starting out. Obviously, we've got to go out there and do some hunting to, to get folks. But once we've got clients and we do a good job, of course, you know, that's key. Um, then just through osmosis almost, we, we should uh, we should expect and we should receive uh, referrals from our existing client base. Uh, but the key on that then is making sure that we are getting them on a consistent basis. And as I said, that comes from, you know, giving a, a great service. How can you go about earning referrals then? Because I think it's something that people are, fit pros are probably a little nervous to ask for if they haven't had them before. That's a good point, and uh, we've got to get over that. Um, I was the same, you know. It. I, I wondered, if it, was I giving or do I give a, a good service? Uh, certainly from uh, at the outset. But then, as you grow in confidence and you just take that initial step, you you step forward from that place of fear and you ask, then you'll find that providing you're giving a good service, then by by um, account you will get those those referrals coming in but it comes with the the acronym i use is is e earn ask and then reward you know so we've got to earn it through the through great delivery a great client experience but then if if we have a, a system in place that we know at a given time um, in the client journey that we we ask for that and then when they they get asked, they they almost feel obliged that they want to be able to help you because if they're enjoying the the experience they have, then birds of a feather flock together. There's going to be other folks that um, you know, friends, work colleagues, family members who would, who would and could benefit from your services then as well. The R, as I say, is reward because we want to then. And reward those clients for for making those referrals and when i say reward i don't mean going out and buy them some um, um uh, gold plated watch or something along those lines it could be something as as a thank you uh, i used to give greeting cards to to my clients when they made referrals it could be an amazon gift card it could be a, 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 a gift card for the local coffee shop uh, whatever you feel most relevant, but um, um, earn, ask, reward, I say, is the, is the process I like to follow. I love that, the, the reward side of things. Sorry, go on, go on James, go. I'd say just on the reward side of things, I've, there's some, so many great examples of this. I think my favourite is Steve Keeley's from Australia's. I think it was him that did this. He had a local burger place They had the Steve Keeley burger at, and then they used to, he used to do, when people referred people to his business, he used to give people a... Uh, a car to go out for burgers and fries at that burger place. It, like he'd, but that's that's one of the things he used to do. Is like, hey, thanks for referring to me. Here's a free gift card to go and have a have a have a Keely burger on me. Have a Keely burger on me at his local burger place. It was it was a great thing uh, going on there. But like it's it's little gift cards that's, that's personalised to them. That's the most important thing I think. If they like coffee, great, and they, and they love Starbucks, get them a, get them a, get them a gift card for Starbucks. However, if they don't like coffee or they like coffee but hate Starbucks, don't get my gift card because it's going to have the, a detrimental effect. So, but don't just incentivize with cash as a reward. I think that's really important. It's got to be personalized to them in the sense of what it is, what do they like? Get to know them. What do they like doing? Do they like going to the cinema? Do they like going to certain things? But something that's nice for them that is beyond just a cash benefit. Andrew, I'm sure you've got a couple of really good examples. Was it um, Maxine, Maxine Hayes? You had a great example of referrals. Yeah, I always remember. I always remember Maxine as, as the standout for me, um, a, a potential PT uh, down in Linfield in Sussex, where she had a card and she um, she understood business and she she had a great business head. Oh, I say great had. I'm sure she still has a great business head. But um, what really stood out for me was that she had this. She understood her client journey. She had a, it started with a welcome pack. She wowed them when they came into the business, but she. 
she equally had partnered up with other local businesses as well so that when clients were making referrals they were given this referral card similar size to a coffee um, card the cards that you get for your free coffees from any uh, independent coffee shop and each time um, a referral was made they would they would be given a gift different gift and there was up to 10 levels on this card in that gamification uh, approach you you always wanted to get to that next level and they got up to you know there was weekends away there was um um fitness training uh, apparel from uh, from apparel from um sweaty betty's i think it was for the for, for the female clients and that so there was it, it it grew to some substantial gifts but she was able to do that because of the number of referrals and she knew her numbers and she knew how much money she could reinvest into her business and into her clients as a, as a thank you uh, so that was i would say still to this day the best referral reward scheme i've seen um, from from a fitness business owner, I love it as well. And it's just just based on referrals. Don't just see referrals as something that you give to clients that come back to you. What I love to do is like welcome packs for people who come into into the into the world. So we're still developing ours because we're still developing the business model at the moment for the current one. But you almost want to do for your first month of training, the money they pay you, you want to invest back into them. So if they pay you say a hundred pounds a month for gym membership, just as ninety or hundred dollars, whatever it is. We want to give them something back to the value of 90 or so dollars, not more so, because we're investing in them for the long haul. So essentially, what, what welcome pack can you give them? Is it a t-shirt? Is it a water bottle? Is it a hoodie? Is it something along, a, a, a mug? We give a strength matters mug away to everybody who get them for the first time. Like, give them something of value and invest back into them to help start the referral post process going. So they, they're feeling like oh, this, this, wow, oh my God, this is amazing. But we're referring, getting people to refer for us later down the line because we're wowing them at the start as well. Does that make sense? I'm trying. Like, I hope I've just come in at the right time. Absolutely, and it's something that I used to follow as well. The um, going back way back to 2005 uh, when I'd started putting together my welcome packs. They were all printed individually from my home printer, uh, stapled, and then handed to the book because it was that physical element and it was different to perceived competition that right out the gate I was wowing them with this you know this point of difference then over the course of the initial few weeks they were getting a, a, a hand in educational handouts how much the importance of drinking water and, and things like that uh, meal plans and that all of that bundled together over and drip fed to them just again wowed them um, and set me apart from the competition they got a water bottle and that all then leads into them you know wanting to refer uh, when when the time's right to to ask for that makes people feel special right absolutely and it's personal training at the end of the day isn't it it's exactly (laughs) exactly right i mean uh, yeah i love a good t-shirt or mug indeed should yeah (laughs) should should in an ideal world should referrals be the number one way you get clients rather than having to go out and attempt to find clients constantly i talk ideal ideal world one of the top three i think yeah yeah i agree with with james It, it it should be one of our but we should have more we should have a number of we shouldn't just depend on it uh because that's when we could potentially struggle uh we we need to have additional marketing um tactics and strategies in place so that um, we're consistently getting good quality leads from a number of different sources yeah cool could you before we wrap up uh, Andrew could you just summarize key points from uh, from today's podcast yeah key points obviously as I say uh, referrals are extremely important as fitness professionals uh, but in in generating them we want to follow the ear uh, uh, principle earn so earn those referrals. Look then to ask uh, for the referrals once you've um, you've earned the right to, to ask. Make sure you do a gentle ask as well. You know, and do it in a non-intrusive way. Um, making it a natural part of the conversation is key. But then once you get um, a, a referral given to you, make sure you recognise and re- reward a client for that um, in doing so, and do it in a in sincere way. 
Fantastic. Thank you so much. I uh, hope this was useful for you all listening out there. That is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And if you want to find out what's holding you back from growing your fitness business, get yourself a free website audit by going to strengthmatters.com forward slash audit.